Hello traders, hello everyone and welcome to our new video analysis. This time we will cover cryptocurrencies. As you know, uh, the markets, overall markets have been a little bit slow for the last week or so. So I decided to look into the cryptocurrencies instead. And as you know, we have seen a pretty nice aggressive reversal on cryptos uh, in the last few days. So I think it's time for a new update here. Uh, so, firstly, what is um, the reason behind this move? Well, keep in mind that stocks are trading at the resistance. Uh, we have seen dollar uh, that found some support after the hawkish Fed, which still is looking towards their um, lower to, to bring down the inflation. So, actually, they repeated um, recently that uh, there is room for more rate hikes and that's when also the US yields um, found some supports and of course this is positive for the US dollar and um, as a result we can see some retracement obviously on cryptos as well which were a little bit overextended here in the last few weeks so it was a pretty strong sector uh, but now if this really stocks and the dollar are are going to reverse the recent trends then obviously uh, we could see something similar on cryptos now before we go to some of the firstly total market caps uh, i want to look this at the nasdaq 100 that's technology sector and as you know it's very important when it comes to digital currencies because the, obviously these fields are linked um, but when i look here at the price action of the nasdaq 100 i see potential wedge formation now if you forget uh, on Elliott waves just for a second and and just trying to focus more more on basic technical analysis then you know that whenever price will move towards the upper side of the wedge in this bull run that's where we have to be a little bit more careful and just be aware of potential reversal as long the market is trading or not breaking i should say the upper line okay so that's actually a reversal pattern but when it comes to, when it comes to identifying this wedge uh, in combination with the elliott wave principle where we can label this in five waves and whenever this reversal occurs with these five waves with this wedge shape from that new low then this could actually be start or beginning of a new bullish trend however even if we potentially identify a bottom here but because we have five waves up we should be aware of a potential free wave setback before this upturn can resume again back to the upside because nothing moves in straight line and of course um, because we have this somehow slow price action and this very strong key resistance levels are not far away i just think that it's good to be prepared on a potential this abc setback rather than be surprised so if this market would turn to the downside then you know that cryptocurrencies which are also trading to the upside um, during the same period then this market can can obviously also face a pullback of course there are some different interpretations as well possible like a one two one two aggressive bullish aggressive scenario and you will see way free way free to uh, to the upside but looking at fang index well, here we also have potentially five waves up and even more beautiful pattern here. So again, five waves up suggests that bulls can slow down for a free wave retracement. Also, if you were um, in our webinars lately, we've been repeating that VIX known as Sphere Index is at the lows. So it looks like that market is confident about the potential break higher, but that's actually the opposite signal because if something is overcrowded, then we just have to be aware that maybe these current cycles when when you have extreme readings can come to an end so even here obviously i would suggest uh, to wait on a preferred abc setback before this uptrend can resume and again if that would be the case we could be seeing bitcoin also moving to the downside looking at the total market cap okay here we have potentially very nice beautiful impulsive recovery and more importantly was probably this reversal notice that that was first very strong drop and then the rise can be counted only in three waves and since the market broke this trend line well we have to respect that this appears to be like a minor impulse so i think that there can be more weakness potentially even can retest these levels here around uh, 92 billions so of course that's still a bullish pattern but i just think that 
we could consolidate a little bit further before this market can potentially break down, uh, sorry, break higher. Even here, if we uh, look at this one, actually this one, um, crypto total market cap others, but here we have the total crypto market cap. And you can also see very nice potential five waves to the upside. And this reversal that we are currently seeing can be a step into this corrective phase. So again, whenever you have five waves up and see market turning, this reversal can resume until you see three waves down, like an ABC formation. And that's when you can start looking for potential supports or even buying opportunities. So for now, I think that we are in a consolidation phase, which can be even longer and deeper here in price. Okay. Now let's take a look also at the miners outflow. Uh, that's data from CryptoCoin, by the way. So this is quite interesting. We had a pretty strong uh, outflows here recently. Uh, so what actually that means is that there were plenty of outflows from miners' wallets to exchanges. So probably they've been looking to sell their coins to cover some fees or whatever. And this obviously is not a surprise because um, normally they will look to sell their coins if they're seeing a very strong reversal in price. So actually there can be now some support coming, uh, coming in while um, these transactions uh, already occurred. So uh, we will see how this will unfold going forward. But I think that this uh, reversal that we are seeing is a very strong one and definitely can, uh, can extend even deeper. Now looking at... Um, at this daily chart that we are tracking, it's actually an update from the last time. Um, there are a bit tricky uh, price action. There are different possibilities here regarding the Elliott wave pattern. But what is the most important, at least for me at this stage, is that this reversal from the recent high is impulsive on the smaller time frame. So even if this will form or transfer like a, some kind of a wedge formation here, maybe even ending diagonal, maybe even even leading diagonal. In both cases, I think that there is room for more uh, for more weakness here into the, this wave four because wave four should be made by three waves. And if you look closely here on the four hour time frame, you can see that this is still only wave one. I can actually count five waves down here right now in a wave A. So we have this support not far away maybe this 26,500 will try to cap um, here wave a support and then watch out for a rally into wave b obviously the resistance then could be at this previous swing high so here around 29,000 to 30,000 that's the resistance if we are going to see this recovery of course on the downside very nice support could be around 24 to 25,000 um, of course, if we will see a free wave drop into that area. So for now, uh, the most important price action, uh, no matter if you are bullish longer term or bearish, um, the most important is that this is the five wave drop and that we should be aware of further weakness after the free wave recovery. Also here, I presented another wave count. It's my alternate count. It shows that this could be actually an impulse from the lows. But again, even if you're bullish, you should see firstly a free wave setback. Now I tried to identify it here, some swing support uh, that I think could be very important, definitely here around 25,000, which was already a resistance once here. So if that was the important break that will take us higher, then obviously we want to see this price to hold as a support. If not, then the lower support area that I identified is around 22,000, let's say. Okay, so we have two important levels that should hold for this pullback. Okay, um, if not, if we just will fall straight uh, with one lag here, like a impulsive reaction straight below uh, these multiple supports, then obviously our wave count will have to be adjusted, even potentially to a bearish case. Okay, but let's not go too far into the future. Uh, for now, as I said, the most important thing is that in the short term, uh, on the intraday charts, we identified bearish reversal, so more weakness should be seen after wave B rally. Also, looking at the Ethereum here, uh, this one is also, um, also reversing. Not really convinced if this is still somehow ongoing um, bullish formation here with a potential wedge and you're now in a wave 4. Again, the most important is that this drop 
is impulsive. So even if this is going to be some kind of a corrective wave or even maybe of an expanding diagonal, whatever, we need three waves to the downside. So looking at this four hour time frame, we broken this trend line. So clearly that's the first bearish interpretation. And then after all, you can count five waves to the downside. So again, watch out for more weakness after free wave rally. Nice resistance should be around um, 1945. Okay, from there, I will be looking for further weakness. Uh, also, I have another wave count here as well. Notice very nice five waves up here can be counted. So after five wave movement, what would you expect? Well, a three wave retracement. So even this wave count obviously suggests that we are in a uh, in consolidation phase and that we could see much lower prices. Now, very interesting support. The first one would be at 38.2%, which was also the previous swing highs here but even deeper levels are at the 50% and this former wave four. So, of course, we are aiming for lower prices until these ABC, uh, ABC substructures are visible here on, uh, on the charts. Also, looking at uh, Litecoin, uh, now this one, if we go firstly on a higher degree time scale, uh, this one can be maybe trapped in some triangle. Here we are looking at log scale, obviously, because um, this volatility is huge. So sometimes it's much easier to read, uh, especially longer term charts on log scale. So here we are tracking ongoing sideways consolidation. Ideally, we are now in a wave D. So slightly more upside here is possible uh, because the first leg here, which by the way, is not really that clear, but still can be maybe a leading diagonal. And now you are in a corrective phase. So that was the bullish reversal and now we are consolidating and why i think that we are consolidating and could see a little bit more complex wave b is because the first lag here the first drop was in three waves and then even the recovery here was overlapping so ideally this can be maybe even a flat that can take price close to this wave a support or maybe even as an alternate scenario uh, this can be a triangle Okay, this could be three ways down for a wave A, and then you have very complex overlapping correction, which is the most important to the upside, but not to a new high. So I think that this could also be wave B as part of a triangle. Now, in a triangle, you will see uh, you will see typically see that each sub wave will have corrective corrective subdivisions, and subdivisions in cor for corrections, of course, are A, B, and C. And so far, we can see only wave A to the downside, so wave B rally can occur in the near term, and then more weakness into the wave C of C should show up. Ideally for the 61.8%, because typically that's the first FIB level that you should look for in a triangle subdivisions, okay? So that's the 61.8% of wave A measured from end of a wave B. So that's the perfect support down here, okay? So even with this wave count, I have, uh, obviously it's still a bullish scenario, but mm, it's not, it suggests that we will, uh, that we will not see that deep price action, okay? Like for a flat where the price will retrace all the way back towards the wave A area. So we have the limited weakness here, but still even this one shows that there is room for more weakness, at least in the short term. Okay, so I think that $80 uh, could be quite interesting first potential support. But overall, even if it's a triangle, even if it's a flat, the corrective price action here for this wave B is incomplete. But once we will be able to identify the end of a correction, that's when we will be looking for a further upside into the wave D. And now also let's take a look on the Ripple. Now, why bring on Ripple is probably because it's one of the few pairs that have potential bullish picture, but we are obviously trading at the support. Uh, so here we could be maybe looking for further upside into the wave C, maybe even trying to form some a wedge formation here um, and the reason why I bring this on is because we have from that high okay uh, we have three waves down of course this could easily extend much much lower if uh, if Bitcoin total market cap other currencies will extend even even lower so of course it's very important for me to wait on a confirming price action so what is a confirming price action like uh, well it's going to be a potential five wave recovery and a broken channel resistance line. So if market will stabilize down here and really rally in five waves, then we will have important evidence that market 
has turned back to the upside and the and that uptrend has resumed okay but because i know that uh, bitcoin is in it looks like that it's in a reversal mode and others as well i i realized that even this one can extend even lower and that's why i'm repeating that confirming price action is very very important because let's say that if i'm wrong on bitcoin and suddenly we see there um gains back towards uh, recent highs then of course i will know exactly what to look for on this market and a potential new trade setup going forward okay traders thank you very much for attention i hope that you enjoyed this video so if you are new to our youtube channel so make sure to subscribe to it leave us a commentary ask questions and check our website we always have some new offers for our new members where we cover a lot of cryptocurrencies and obviously uh, other uh, fx markets um, and metals crude oil dax s p 500 so traders hope to see you there enjoy your day bye